Again, <laughs> MJ, where are you, man? Where? <laughs> oh my God, MJ didn't tell me she could beg. MJ? Well, I mean, one muffin couldn't hurt. Oh, that was amazing! I needed that pick me up. Hey, man, sorry, I'm. Where did my muffins go? Did you eat? All the space muffins? MJ, you know I have weight problems. You can't just leave delicious smelling muffins out and expect me not to eat them. So really, all this is your fault. I wasn't calling you fat, you dumbass. Those muffins had about 1,800 milligrams of THC. Each! MJ, this place is beautiful. And I can see time and space and... (gasps) Jesus? Jesus! I am honored, no, I'm blessed, <laughs> to meet you. Let me speak of all of that kind of- You are so lucky that I have more of that, or else you would be one very dead sock right now. MJ. <gasps> You're Jesus? No, you idiot! I am not sock Jesus! You were tripping balls and started hallucinating! Huh. I hope you learned your lesson. I'm sorry for eating all your edibles, NJ. Uh, I promise to wait for you next time. There will be a next time. Yes, there will be a next time. All right, let's get out of here. I've got to run to the store so I can make some more muffins. Space muffins, you mean? Yes, space muffins, sock puppet one. From the people who brought you your favorite board games, such as Racist Grandpa and My Uncle is a Gimp, comes OK Boomer. Wow, how do I play? Glad you asked, Timmy. First, select your player token. I want to be a Gen Xer whose pension benefits were negotiated away. No. Can I be a veteran who was injured overseas and struggles with housing? No. What about an artist who struggles in the gig economy and gets offered payments and exposure? No. What about a shoe? Can I be a shoe? No, you can only be this. Wow, an unidentifiable lump of metal that has millennial printed on the bottom. And all the tokens are the same. Now roll those dice. One, two, three. Okay, I landed on a space called advice that has not been relevant in 30 years. Wait, all the spaces are the same. Exactly, Timmy. Now draw from the advice pile. Okay, I drew, walk into a business and look the manager in the eye and demand to be hired. Wow, I got three bootstrap points. Excellent. Roll again. One, two. Okay, now I got try to fire an overworked waitress because my name food order where I substituted eight different items got the wrong type of toast. Five bootstrap points. Good job. Wow, this seems easy. How do I win? Do I collect the most bootstrap points? No, because bootstrapping yourself is physically impossible and therefore utterly pointless. So who wins? The cabal of billionaire alien lizard men who can only derive entertainment from watching a pointless struggle between generations. Wait, what? Lizard men? Sorry, I misspoke. I meant snake men. Uh, okay, boomer. Now available where fine games are sold. Welcome back to Spicy and Spicy, the show where we cook up south of the border dishes and then dish it out on the phone lines about your spicy bedrooms. Just before the break, I cooked up this delicious mango salsa. Now it's time for me, Dr. Tim, with two Ks, to answer your calls. Philip, hook me up. Oh, hey. Hello there. Welcome to Spicy and Spicy. Who's calling? I'm, uh, Tim. Tim, how many K's are in your name? Uh, none? Listen, I have an issue in the bedroom. Ooh, sounds delicious. What's your issue, Tim? 
my girlfriend likes to be on top. Let me interrupt you there, Tim with no Ks. There's nothing wrong with a woman showing a little bit of dominance in the bedroom. You didn't let me finish. She likes to be on top of a burning building when we make love. Oh, that's a spicy issue indeed. Tim, all I can do is recommend you wear some protection, because one way or another, you're going to end up with a burning sensation. And not the good kind. Next caller, Philip. Uh, yo. Yo yourself. Welcome to Spicy and Spicy. What spicy issue are you experiencing? Well, it, uh, upsets my girlfriend that I'm a metrosexual. Taking some extra time and pride in your appearance should be a good thing. No, uh, not that kind of metrosexual. I'm sexually attracted to the subway system. There are just some issues even too spicy for me. Next color, Philip. Oh, thank God. Whoa, looks like I made an impression already. Please help. I've been lost in the woods for three days, and a line of bears have been chasing me. Dr. Tim with two Ks is a little confused. Are the bears chasing you in a sexual fashion? What? Uh, no. Please, they're closing in. I just dialed a random number on my cell phone and got you. Well, do the bears have a recipe for fantastic casserole, at least? Oh god, they're setting up an ambush. Tell my family- Well, it looks like we're out of time for this episode of Spicy and Spicy. Tune in next week, where I give you my own take on a hamburger quesadilla, and then take to the phone lines for some more five alarm calls. For Spicy and Spicy, I'm Dr. Tim, with two Ks. Are you suffering from motivation? Do you want to just, like, sit on the couch and do nothing all day? From the people who brought you disappointments comes new Apathy Mips. Guaranteed to send you into a diabetic coma, this snack has been specially formatted by our scientist Steve, who threw a bunch of dollar store candy into a blender. Need to make your child's Halloween costume? With Apathy Mips, you will do such a poor job that they will resent you until they need money for college. I hate you, Dad. Hate doing presentations at work? Just one handful of apathy nips and presenting your child's macaroni art will seem like a fantastic idea. Not again, Dad. Made in the sun-baked frosty depths of the Appalachian Mountains of New Mexico, Africa, comes apathy nips. Now in a variety of flavors. Need apathy on the go? Try new Lazy Berry Blend. Start your mornings off slow with idle vanilla dough flavor. Got a night of hardcore binging cartoons? Minty Chocolate Chill. Oh, Dad, go to bed. Apathy Dips. Order them online because we are way too lazy to send to the stores. You there. Who, me? Yeah, are you feeling down? Well, a little. I've kind of had a hard day. You need aggressivity. What's aggressivity? Aggressivity is a new way of life. Attacking life with aggressive positivity. No, thanks. I think I'll make an appointment with my therapist. He's helped me through some hard times. Bullshit! Aggressivity is all you need. See that flower? Yeah? Tell me what you think of that flower. It's kind of nice, I guess. No! This is a beautiful fucking flower! Look at its delicate petals! It brightens my day! It's one of Mother Nature's wonders! Uh... You try. It's a nice flower? Louder! It's a nice flower? Good! Doesn't that make you feel better? My throat kind of hurts from all this yelling. Can I leave now? No! See that baby? That baby is the cutest thing I've ever seen! That baby represents hope for the future! Now go tell that mother what you think of that baby! You have a nice baby, ma'am? Ew! Stay away from me, you freaks! I'm calling the cops! <coughs> this is a fantastic cell! Those police officers are doing a fantastic job! Just... leave me alone, please! Order your aggressivity starter kit now for only 13 payments of $14.99. Starter kit includes how to never use your indoor voice, flexing your worries away, and life is so beautiful, it makes me want to suplex grandma. Order now! Welcome to the world's fastest bingo. I'm your bingo caller, Eddie Fast Bingo, and we are about to play a marathon game of bingo. This game's about a bingo, which is the outer edge with the stack space from the bottom of the eye column, which represents the large star for the starry night. Before we get started in the world's fastest bingo, are there any questions? You there? Yes? What color cards are we? Blue, blue cards. We're playing blue cards for the world's fastest bingo. Are there any more questions? Does it 
matter what color my dabber? No, Mammy, you can play bingo with any color dabber from the verdant green of the Irish hills to the bright yellow, which could represent the glowing ambition of man in the face of oppression. Now, if there are no more questions, we will get ready for the world's fastest bingo. Sir, my... I'm sorry, ma'am, we got to go ahead with the bingo. Please save your questions for afterwards. I-27B5062G57. Bingo! Ma'am, as fast as the world's fastest bingo is, we haven't called enough numbers for you to get a bingo. No, my husband's name is bingo he's having a heart attack